guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Twee. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please excuse this crusty pole in the background. I literally cannot be bothered to push my clothing around outside into my hallway. So you're gonna have to put up with it for now. I know it looks a bit crusty and I need to get changed in a minute. So just focus on this for now, okay? I feel like I haven't filmed a PR unboxing on my channel for like over a year. Getting products and skincare and the latest makeup in the mail is definitely one of the biggest perks of my job. So I thought I'll come on camera today and share with you guys all the latest and greatest in the makeup community so we're going to be open up the products today get some first impressions what i think about the product if you guys want to see any upcoming videos using the products inside this video comment them down below so if you guys want to see what products i've got in the mount and the latest in the makeup industry please keep watching <laughs> So I got this box in the post and it's the new Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I actually put it on today and I actually really love the coverage of this. I am a bit scared of when anything is a bit more glowy. I feel like it might not last. I'm actually going to an Ariana Grande concert today, hence the little ears and the long ponytail. But I wanted to try it on today to see how it wears. Lately, my skin has been so dry coming back from the plane and stuff. So I felt like a hydrating finish should be super, super lovely. I got the shade 290, which fits exactly. It's so good for anyone that's like an NC30 to like 35 because it's a really nice olive undertone. It also came with the precision sponge. I actually really like this sponge. The only thing is I find that when you wash it, the color never comes back, girl. It's always going to be stained. And I also got the hydrating primer as well. I did feel a bit like mm, they should have changed the packaging a little bit because it honestly looks almost exactly identical to the more matte version which I felt like they should have made it a bit different a different color so that you'll know what type of primer it is when you pick it up like if you have both and you want a hydrating skin moment what if you accidentally pick up the matte and then it's just like KO you know and it actually feels really really nice it kind of just feels like a lightweight moisturizer if I'm honest if you have drier skin and you want something a bit more moisturizing on top of your moisturizer then this could be the one okay next up I've got a package from cult beauty I love cult beauty so much I used to shop on beauty bay all the time but I feel like Cult Beauty has a wider range of skincare. So I'm guessing that Cult Beauty is now launching Paula's Choice. This is a 10% niacinamide booster. Niacinamide is really good for anyone that has really dehydrated skin or if you want to even out your skin tone. You'll probably find niacinamide in a lot of like Korean beauty brands because everyone wants their skin to be lighter and brighter and niacinamide is the perfect ingredient for that. Oh, I've always wanted to try this as well. This is the 2% BHA liquid. I love BHAs, I love AHAs, any type of acids, give it to me. BHAs are really good for anyone with like big pores, spots, anything like that because salicylic acid actually goes inside of the pore whereas AHAs, which is glycolic acids and lactic acids, they only exfoliate the top layer. When I have a lot of clogged pores, or if you have problematic skin, BHAs are amazing. Oh yes, a lightweight daily fluid hydrating moisturizer SPF 30. That's just calling my name. Right, let's try this. Oh, it actually is quite lightweight. Doesn't have a smell. Oh, I think I put way too much. Let me just moisturize my tits. Oh, it actually feels really nice. It doesn't leave too much of a white cast and it's sunk in really nicely. So I'm definitely gonna be using that. I am always on the hunt for the next best moisturizer that has a bit of SPF in there. Next up, I've got the P. Louise X Mitchell Collaboration. Oh. So these products here are very unique. There's nothing really like it in the industry at the moment. It's a product that you actually use by itself. You don't set it with eyeshadow or anything like that, which I find a little bit hard to believe. But if you're looking for something to like cut your crease or do a colored eyeliner, these are really, really good. It says to not actually put any eyeshadow on top, otherwise it will crack. I really love the beige shade in this. I tried a little bit on the back of my hand. It literally didn't wash off, guys. I probably would use the nude shade the most. It actually has such a big opening. Like look at this gaping hole here like this is literally huge you can probably dunk your whole brush directly in there okay next up i got a package from benefit i'm actually going to be going away to japan with benefit cosmetics at the end of september which i'm so excited about so if you're from japan or if you've been to japan you have any hints on where to go where to get some good food where's the best photo spots comment down below dm me send me all the details please okay so we have new concealers this girl got cream pied. I know that feeling, girl. If you guys haven't seen me get cream pied in that challenge, I'll link it up here. So Benefit has brought out new concealers. It's the Boying Cakeless Concealer, and there's 12 shades. So I've got shade 2 and shade 6. Quite a big jump. I felt like maybe they wanted to give me a highlight and contour one. Ooh, look, it looks like a rubber. 
Oh, it's got quite a nice big applicator. I like it. I feel like they're definitely upping their foundation complexion range and it's quite good coverage as well. That shade might be a little bit light, I'm not gonna lie. It has quite a matte powdery texture to it, so don't know how I feel about that. Would it look cakey underneath the eyes? I'm definitely gonna have to test this out. Yes, guys, we have the Jackie Ina eyeshadow palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills collaboration. Look at this cool box. Like, yes, I'm here for it. I always find it so amazing when there's big brands that collaborate with Instagrammers or YouTubers or influencers. I just find that it's just such an amazing thing that we can film videos in our bedrooms and then massive billionaire brands want to collaborate with us. It's just something that I would never ever get over. I just find it's just so amazing. So well done to Jackie. Let's have a little sneak peek. Oh, she pretty. I'm definitely gonna be filming with this. I might film a video of full face first impressions of all of this stuff that I just got. Next up, we got a package from Tar. But we pinky promise this is the best sale ever. So we've got a stay spray. I actually love this product. It's so good to make your makeup kind of refresh. It makes your makeup last a bit longer. They've got a Tartlet in Bloom palette here. They've also got a little bundle of loads of their brow products and lip products. I actually have every single one of these products already. So I think I'm going to give these to my sister because she loves Tarte. And there's a little ring in here. How cute. I can't remember the last time I wore rings. Let me go put my rings on. One second. Ice, ice, baby. Mm. Next up, I got a little jiffy bag. Oh my God, I got stuff from Smashbox. And it's got my name engraved on the brush handle. How exciting. So this is the Full Coverage Studio Skin Foundation. I think it's a new foundation that just come out. I don't even know how they got my address, guys. I don't talk to anyone from Smashbox. The Photo Finish Setting Spray. I heard loads of good things about that setting spray. I've also got the Oil and Shine Control Primer. When I used to work at MAC, we used to get a discount off Smashbox because it was owned by Estee Lauder and I've only ever tried the Studio Skin Primer and it's quite like silicone-y. I've heard amazing things about the primerizer. This is a very small sample of it. And then I've got another shade of the full coverage foundation. Okay, so let's try this. I've got the shade 216, 2.3 and 315. I don't think any of these will be my shade if I'm honest. I feel like I'm definitely more in the three category. So we'll try 2.3 which is a light medium warm. Don't know if you can see on camera, but the shade here is very misleading because this is a lot darker. Oh, very full coverage. It's quite dream matte moussey. So I find foundations that dry down to a matte finish like this, it makes your skin look super, super cakey. So that's what it looks like. It's not very yellow, it's quite peachy, I find. I don't think that's my shade, girl. So next up, I got this little brush set from Zoeva. If you guys have been following my channel for a long time, I have been talking about Zoeva for such a long time. They have some of my favourite brushes. I feel like Morphe and Zoeva and Smith Cosmetics have my favourite brushes of all time. Zoeva is like a good middle point. It's not too expensive. It's not really, really cheap, but it has really, really good quality. So this is the Rose Gold Complete brush set volume one 15 brushes and a clutch i'm always after new brushes so this is calling my name oh my goodness look how small this brush is this is tiny this is the 210 spot liner this is my favorite brush of all time guys this one right here <laughs> This is the 317 Wing Eyeliner Brush. This is a super, super thin angled liner brush. I love this for my eyebrows. If you're trying to get those like really thin hair like strokes, this is the perfect brush for that. Especially if you fill this up with like a pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills or if you wet this down with water and then stick it in like a powdered eyebrow powder, you can get really, really fine lines of this. There's quite a lot of brushes that I haven't actually tried. Like this one is quite a cool one, really good for like foundation or putting on primer and stuff like that. Next up, we have this huge box from a brand called Elsie. I actually haven't tried many products from Elsie before. I remember when I used to work with Beauty Bay, they used to sell Elsie there, but it's quite hard seeing what their products look like online. So I think they sent me a bit of everything from their collection. So I got a foundation, which I have tried before, and I found that the color was a bit too neutral. So they sent me a shade called Sand, which definitely has my ears pricked up because anything that's like sand is like, normally my shade. I can just really see from the undertone it's not the greatest. It's a bit peachy. Guys, I just feel like brands need to get their undertones locked down. This is like a light to medium coverage. 
We'll see if I like this or not. I'm definitely gonna test that out in a video. This is a facial mist, which I heard is amazing. I saw this highlighter when I was at Beautycon. I was like, oh my God, I really want it. And it was sold out. This is called the Eclipse Highlighter in Soul, S-O-L. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that's cute. She cute or whatever. <gasps> oh my God. <gasps> Oh my god, that's so nice. I am definitely intrigued. Okay, last but not least, I have this huge box here, guys. Look how big it is. Oh, it's so heavy as well. And it's from Nas. How exciting. I'm actually really sad because I got invited to go to their 25th birthday in Italy, but I had a wedding to go to, which of course I'm always going to go to my friend's wedding. Oh my god, what is this? It looks like Coco's penis. Ah! So this is a huge lipstick. Oh my goodness! It's like I just went into NARS and just stole all their lipsticks! Times like this, I'm just like, what did I ever do for such a big brand like NARS to send me out a product like this? I just feel so grateful. It actually makes me really sad that I'll never get through all of these lipsticks in my whole lifetime. And it also kind of makes me sad that I can't just take one out because you need it to be cute for the displayer, you know? So these are the new lipsticks, I'm guessing, to celebrate the 25th birthday of NARS. So happy birthday, NARS! I'm such a huge fan of you guys. I have tried your products from day one. I used to buy Stromboli years and years ago, even before I started YouTube. So the fact that you guys even know who I am, I just feel so, so grateful. So thank you so much for this freaking PR package. It's probably one of the most prettiest package I've ever, ever received. Okay guys, so that's it for this PR unboxing. Thank you so much to everyone that tuned in. I am still so grateful that all these brands would even know who I am. If you guys are wondering why I get all these products sent to me it's because of my job brands send out all these products to influencers in hopes that they will try it and then feature in the video so it's kind of like win-win for them they get a bit of free advertising we get a bit of free makeup if you're an upcoming makeup artist or upcoming blogger and you guys want to get on brands PR list and stuff like that I 100% recommend to just use their products organically in your post that is how 99% of all these brands found out who I am it's because I kept buying their products I use them in all my videos I tag them in photos tag them in videos and then eventually they just reach out and then send you an email to send you some more stuff to feature and then eventually just build up a working relationship go to the events get to know the PR all that good stuff if you guys want me to film a bit more of an in-depth video about how to get on PR lists and tips for being a blogger and stuff like that I already filmed some videos already on my channel but let me know if you guys want me to film something a bit more updated a bit more recent any other tips I could either do videos with my friends who are also bloggers as well that's also an option I am so open to helping you guys if I can do it you guys can do it too there's nothing special about me I just constantly keep doing my own organic stuff and then eventually it just kind of picks up and you start getting into a routine into a cycle and then yeah guys things just happen you know so if there's any products that you guys saw in today's video that you guys want me to film with to film a first impressions with to film in an upcoming Instagram video let me know down below in the comment section thank you so much for all your love I'm so appreciative that we are almost at 400k I literally cannot believe it my mind is so blown that there's almost 400,000 people that click subscribe to want to watch more videos that's just so crazy so thank you so much to the bottom of my heart so guys that's it for this video i'm going to see ariana grande now mm, mm. and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys enjoy the bloopers <laughs> so if you guys want to see what, what uh, the intro i don't even know that's my theme song i can't even sing my own theme song what the hell dun, dun, dun. Literally, that's so sad. It's all falling out. <laughs> this ponytail's giving me a headache already. I haven't even left my house. Oh, shit. Go sneeze. <coughs> Fun fact about me is that I never sneeze once. I always had to sneeze a couple of times. And someone's at my door. Thank you. Next. Yeah. It's a dog invasion. Who let the dogs out? <laughs> Thank you. Next. Mm, thank you, next. I'm so fucking thankful for my ex. I think that's how it went. I'm actually so hungry. <laughs> I need to go do shit too. <laughs>